Hey folks here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video unboxing and first impressions of the DB Power Hawkeye 2. This is a quadcopter, which is medium sized, it's not super small, not super large like the DJI Phantom either, but it also features a built-in wireless camera, which you can control using your phone with a free app that you install in the Play Store or the iOS Store. It has a 720p resolution for the camera, so it's decent for capturing your surroundings, really meant as a hobbyist drone just for beginners as well to get used to before purchasing more expensive options, and it sells on Amazon for under 70 bucks, which is fairly inexpensive. This is what the packaging looks like, it just says quadcopter with camera. Pretty yeah. very bottom of the boxes tell you a few things about it. The 2.4 gigahertz receiver, which is fairly standard, has a cradle to attach your phone on the top as well. It's a FPV, which is first person view for the camera, and it's a 720p camera, which is technically HD, but obviously not meant for just photography as a sole purpose. You can control it pretty easily both for indoor and outdoor flight purposes and it has 3D stabilization, you can do flips with it, uh, it can just like stay in one place and hover, so all those features are built in and it works pretty good as far as the beginner camera is concerned. There's a sketch here just to show you what. Alright, so the box itself is actually fairly uh, deep. Um, it's kind of a dense packaging that has everything uh, layered from the top down and here we have just the remote control itself. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Pretty typical stuff. It's made out of polycarbonate plastic. Feels fairly sturdy. Kind of the same complaint I have with other cheaper uh, remote controls is that you can see the tip here is actually kind of sharp. It's plastic, juts out. So if you're flying it for longer periods of time, you're really trying to get precise with it. It kind of bites into your skin. So I've always wanted manufacturers to put kind of a rubber grip or some kind of protective cover on the top, just like gaming controllers, just to make it easier to, to navigate. Uh, but they still haven't seemed to address that on here. Anyways, these are obviously meant for your direction as well as for you know taking off and landing in terms of the motor speed. There's also dedicated on-off controls for the drone and the, the RC controller itself. There's trimmer controls, which are very typical. You use these to adjust in case something is a little off by calibration, so you can change the uh, motor so it's not as intense, maybe to the left or to the right. Uh, quick launch keys for landing, the speed can be set up, just one quick key for returning the drone to the same place. These controls can also be found here. Um, there is no LCD display on the bottom here, so that's one area where DB Power were able to cut costs a little bit lower, but uh, as a result, you will be relying on your phone to look at more extensive data as well as the uh, you know, where the drone is in the air if you are looking through the camera. The back features the battery compartment, uses four AA batteries which are not included. Their very top feature is a hinge which you can pop in your phone into, supports both Android and iOS, and it's fairly well made with protective grips on the top and the bottom, and folds down just for easy transportation. So a pretty good remote all in all. The drone itself is located on the very top here, we'll take a closer look in a moment. You can see it's actually fairly small, but like I said, it's definitely not as small as a micro drone that we've reviewed in the past, but still uh, considerably smaller than many of the other remote controlled drones you'll see in the market. Compared to the Hawkeye 1 by DB Power, it already is quite a bit smaller. We reviewed that a few months back, if you guys remember, that was slightly larger than this. So. It seems like the additional accessories are just located on the bottom here, um, and they include the battery, which is replaceable. Obviously, you can buy more of these, so you can extend the flight time if you stack them up and charge them ahead of time. 700 million hours is actually a pretty good size for such a small battery, so since the drone is also smaller, I expect the battery life performance here to be good. Uh, I'm expecting it to be maybe 12 to 14 hours of continuous flight, maybe a little under, uh, around 10 minutes or so if you if you add on the the Wi-Fi camera and turn that on. So this is what it looks like. To charge it, you plug it into the USB cable that's included. Otherwise, there's a tiny little screwdrivers which you can use to disassemble the, the drone if you need to for any reason. And uh, pop on the spare propellers in case that they break. So you can see that the guards have been pre-installed. You can remove these if you want to, but they, prevent, they protect the, the wings a little bit in case they get caught on any trees or outdoor environments so that it doesn't break as easily. Uh, but it feels pretty malleable, so everything should last pretty pretty long. And the material here is made out of a hollow plastic polycarbonate. The back does feature LED lights, which makes it visible under darker environments. You can still fly it in the dark, which is nice. There is an antenna here, which is used for the Wi-Fi reception of the digital camera. 
and the camera lens is pointing outwards over here. What's nice about this is that you can actually adjust the angle by twisting on these two screws and then changing the pivot of this lens up to 180 degrees, either pointing upwards or completely downwards. So it's pretty easy to adjust. Um, obviously, again, not meant as a photography-centric drone. It's not good enough for that, but it gives you a bit more customization, and it does work uh, in outdoor environments and in brighter environments. You can see yourself or capture the sky, maybe, if you're trying to document something. So it works pretty well. And all in all, it's a little bit heavier than I expected. It's a small drone, but it actually is fairly substantial in the weight. A few guards on the bottom, just so that it lands in a softer way. And uh, in terms of color scheme, we have the white version here also comes in black. Battery compartments is over here, which you can pop off the lid and open that part up. And this is where you attach the battery into the fairly standard adapter port, and then pop this in, and afterwards slide this part, this battery in and then you're basically ready to go. Turn it on and you're good. So that's essentially how- As far as performance is concerned, it is pretty easy to navigate. There is a bit of trimming that you need to do since it's not completely calibrated the first time that I took it out of the box. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a, a bit of a brief uh, video sample that I recorded. Hopefully that will uh, be able to be interjected in this video so you guys get an idea of the video quality indoors at least. And if I kind of turn on the fan, you're gonna hear the, the sound of the engine here. So that's kind of what it what it sounds like, and obviously it's pretty easy to navigate uh, the takeoff as well as land. So a pretty good beginner and uh, intermediate drone, I would say, to just to get used to before you invest in more expensive options. So, anyways, that's just been our unboxing and first impressions. So check out more details in our official written and video review coming out soon. But uh, thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the DB Power Hawkeye 2 quadcopter with HD camera.